Everybody wants to be a cowboy. Not everybody wants to ride the range. What's up, Staunch Gang, and welcome back to A Very Cory Christmas. A Dangerous Place would take place in Feldog's second wave of films, so to speak. After returning to cinema, after some pretty public troubles during the filming of Rock and Roll High School Forever. You're all about the making of Rock and Roll High School Forever and my award-winning documentary, Forever, The Untold Story of Rock and Roll High School Forever linked right up there and i think it's safe to say that feldman just he didn't just take whatever roles he was offered when he returned you know and he seemed to be maturing in various ways as far as his film output i'm willing to bet you know it's no mistake that he decided to take on more adult themed roles and more horror stuff and whatnot you know really kind of breaking the stereotypes, so to speak. Now, you know, he would only have a few starring roles in the early 90s, those being Meatballs 4 and co-starring in Round Trip to Heaven, as well as taking part in the two Corys' mighty return in Blown Away. And, you know, and aside from that, he really just took smaller roles or, you know, some memorable cameos. But Feldman's stock would rise in the 90s as they went on, and his 1993 and 1994 was pretty stacked. A Dangerous Place is kind of a weird movie and it fits right along with the other action movies of the time. And it tells the story of two brothers getting involved with a local gang of thugs who happen to be part of a cartel like Karate Dojo, you know how that happens. So when the older brother is mysteriously killed off, our young hero decides to infiltrate the dangerous karate gang known as the Cobra Kai. I mean, uh, the Scorpions. And, you know, he does this in order to defend his brother's honor, really getting in over his head, and, um, you know, 90s greatness ensues. And, like, he even loses his mind. He starts having ghostly visions of his older brother coming and, like, tells him, hey, leave Feldog alone. He's a dangerous guy. This is a dangerous place. But he doesn't listen. Yeah, an elephant in the room. This is when the Karate Kid parallels really come in and will play like pretty heavy. I mean, the main actor was even in the movie Magic Kid too, and the the Magic Kid movies are basically made just to capitalize on Karate Kid's success. And in fact, in some markets, A Dangerous Place was released as Magic Kid Three. And aside from that, well, I mean, we have the legendary Mako playing the Miyagi-like character here, a Mako Miyagi, if you will. And we even get a dollar store crease. Don't focus on the pain. Focus on the fact that if you don't defend yourself, you're gonna feel more pain. And Dick Van Patten, because why not? But I must admit, I think Feldog would kick Johnny's ass. And you know, the interesting thing here is the take on the story is the infiltration into the gang, etc. It's a pretty cool idea, but it's not really executed well. In fact, the whole movie isn't really executed well. It's not. It's just not really interesting. In fact, the, the movie's a downright chore to get through at times, at least when Feldog's not on screen, or, you know, when we're not getting a legit 90s car chase, or, or motorcycle chase, or scenes of Feldog kicking ass, or or his stunt double on a bike, or, you know, there's plenty still to enjoy with this film, is what I'm trying to say. Well, if they're such jerks, how come all the best-looking girls in school hang out with the Scorpions? You gotta pass a little test. It was a time to grow up. Scorpions? They're a karate team. Greg had been spending a lot of time with them. I'm gonna find out what happened. I wanna become a Scorpion. Let's see what you got. Man, we don't need that. Don't tell me what I need. I don't trust him. 
high school can be a dangerous place. I'm surprised by the film's action and scale, um, honestly. I mean, considering that the director, Jerry P. Jacobs, was largely known for doing a lot of TV work and really getting it knocked out, mainly with stuff like Power Rangers, you know. But after A Dangerous Place... He also had a pretty decent career with some more action films like Steel Train and the Tone Loke action romp Freedom Strike. Everyone loved that one, right? He did a great job here in A Dangerous Place, though, and it really feels right at home in 1994. Overall, it's a fun time if you're into this kind of stuff, and it would make a great double feature with other films like Stone Cold or, or The Kid. You know the kid, C. Thomas Howe? Check out my review of that one next, why don't you? I highly enjoy Feldman's performance here in A Dangerous Place, as he really does seem to be dedicated. And he does a lot of his own stunt work. I mean, you can clearly see it's him doing a lot of the fighting scenes and, you know, whatever else he can. In fact, you know, I wonder if he learned any moves from Namrock. Hey, this no my pee. Another Rock and Roll High School Forever connection here is that in A Dangerous Place, he's reunited with Michael Monks, who plays a guard. And, you know, it's pretty cool to see them together on screen again, albeit briefly. And you can hear more about that in my documentary. Again, it, I'll link it down there, too. A Dangerous Place was by no means the end of Feldman's underrated or forgotten 90s output. So, stick around, staunch gang. It's a very Cory Christmas once again. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Definitely comment. Uh, that really seems to appease the algorithm gods. Now, what I'm going to do here is um, I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and link some more stuff from the past. It's a very Cory Christmas, so you can get all caught up. We have quite the ride ahead of us. Thanks for joining me, Staunch Gang. Merry Christmas.